The last couple years has had a huge impact on restaurants, cafes, eateries around the globe, and many Chinatowns around the world have been hit especially hard. And Sydney is no different. We've seen multiple family-run businesses and restaurants permanently shut down. Chinatown has been a hub for my family gatherings. It's been there for me during late nights and it's been there for me as a broke uni student. And today's video is one of hopefully many to come. Okay, I've just arrived at Mother Chu here in Chinatown and I've been here many, many a times. Just in the city, grabbing a quick bite before we go hang out with friends and whatnot. And there's so many like delicious cheap eats here and I'm gonna be showing you a couple of them. Both are under $5. Typically when I come here, I also get a soybean drink. And in terms of the rice roll, I typically get one that has the uh, savory pork floss that's in there. They're both really, really delicious. But for today, we are gonna be getting the egg pancake and also the glutinous rice rolls. Okay, so my egg pancake has just arrived. We've got a thin layer of egg with spring onions on the inside. And this also comes with sweet soy sauce. So, first bite of the pancake. This is delicious. It's like having an egg omelet on the inside and then wrapped in a layer of carbs. I personally don't mind just eating this pancake as is without the sauce, but that's just me. I typically don't need things to be overly sweet or overly savory. It's not too oily. It's got carbs. It's got protein. And spring onions counts as vegetables, right? In addition to the egg pancake, I also got a plain glutinous rice roll. So this is what it looks like. Inside there is the Chinese dough stick. And then there's also some pickles on the inside as well. And then it's wrapped around in a layer of glutinous rice. It's very, very hot. Typically, I get the one that has the pork floss as well. That's my go-to, it's my favorite. But that one is a dollar extra at $6. So keeping in line with our theme of the video today, I've got this one. This is carb on carb, but I am here for it. The outside is soft and chewy. And then inside there's that crunch from the Chinese dough stick. And there's also that flavor of the pickles as well. I think it's a great combination. And I think one of the best pairings is of course the soybean drink. It just goes so well together. One tea fun like this, is probably enough as a lunch for me and i eat quite a lot all right this video is off to a great start but there are still so many places that i want to show you so without further ado let's head there right now okay i've just arrived at nanjing dumpling and i've ordered myself a pork bun it's called in, in chinese it's like big meat bun it came to three dollars and fifty cents there are a lot of things that are like really delicious here like things like the braised duck wings and the braised duck tongue so they have breakfast starting at 7 30 and there's a whole list of breakfast items that are quite affordable as well there's like the sesame biscuit soy milk savory tofu pudding sweets tofu pudding so it's kind of like the ones that i showed you in my previous video so yeah we're just waiting till the bun comes okay so this is what the bun looks like so inside this bun there's a piece of meat and there's also some soup inside essentially imagine it like a xiaolong bao um, except the wrapper is the bread the meat inside is a lot bigger and you know there's soup inside as well i think it's delicious essentially these are warm fluffy buns with succulent meat on the inside it's perfect for winter if you're gonna eat it during summer i would just 
urge you to be cautious as you bite into it. Actually, even in the winter as well. Maybe just bite like a little hole on the side, drink up the soup, and then continue to eat the bun. Don't split it in half like what I did. I was just trying to show you what's on the inside. All right, this meat bun was delicious, but that is not it for this video. We have so many other places to hit up. So without further ado, let's explore other parts of Chinatown. Okay, I've just arrived at Mr. Chen Beef Noodle and I've just placed my order. What I've noticed as I was looking at their menu just then was that a lot of the items that I plan to order, they're no longer available. So things like the, the tea egg and um, the sliced potato salad, that one is delicious. They're not doing it right now, so I'm not able to feature it in this video. Instead, we are gonna pivot. We have ordered some other things. This does push our budget out a little bit, but it is what it is. It's still cheap, it's still delicious. So yeah, first thing I wanna show you is the dumplings. So Hong Yao's house, so it's essentially spicy wontons. It's got chili oil, Chinese black vinegar, garlic, spring onions, and it's just so fragrant and so incredibly appetizing. I can see the crushed garlic just glistening on top of the wontons right now. So without further ado, let's dive right in. There's just something about the combination of the chili, of the vinegary, of the garlicky. It's it just works. If you want to try and make this yourself, I actually have a video on how to do this. Check it out right here. So inside of these spicy wontons, they have uh, pork. I've added some more Chinese vinegar because I feel like I can never have enough Chinese vinegar. I can, I can add vinegar to pretty much anything. Fried rice, dumplings, noodles. Now, when you're here, I know I didn't eat any of the noodles, but this place is called Mr. Chen Beef Noodles, so you should definitely get yourself a bowl of Lanzhou beef noodle soup as well. But yes, for the purposes of today's video, we're just gonna be having dumplings. Okay, so a half surf of the spicy wontons came to, I think, $7.90, and the small plate of salt and pepper tofu was $6.80. And so in terms of the salt and pepper tofu, we've got some fried garlic, we've got spring onions, we've got chopped chilies. It's crispy on the outside and then the tofu is so soft and silky. And even though there are chopped chilies all over this plate, I don't find it to be too spicy at all. I mean, just look at the texture of the tofu. It's so smooth. It's so silky. In terms of what this tastes like, it tastes exactly like the flavors of salt and pepper squid. Except this one is tofu. You give me a bowl of rice with this and I'll be very, very happy. What I also really like about this salt and pepper tofu is that the exterior to the batter is actually very light, crispy, light batter on the outside, super silky, smooth tofu on the inside. You should order this as a side when you come here for noodles. All right, we are done here at Mr. Chen Beef Noodle, but we're not done with this video just yet. There are so many other places that I want to show you, so let's check them out now. So I couldn't film a video on cheap eats in Chinatown without featuring Cho's Dumpling King. So what I've got in front of me is a Taiwanese braised pork over rice. In addition to this, I've also got myself a cold dish. So they have a selection of different cold plates that you can choose from and they come to $4.50 each. I've gotten one of my all time favorite cold dishes. It is the pig ears. And there's just something about the flavor and the texture that makes it extremely addictive. So let's start with the cold dish first and then we'll move right on to the rice. Okay, first bite of the pig ears. Despite this having like a couple chilies on top, it's actually not spicy at all. It's got a nice crunchy texture from the cartilage. It's savory and just like a tad Very appetizing. It's great as a starter dish, especially in summer. So this braised pork is essentially chopped pork belly that's been braised with a range of different ingredients, including things typically like star anise, cloves, bay leaves, peppercorn, ginger, to make it deliciously flavorful and just like 
a comfort food. I really like their rice here as well. I love it when rice is still fluffy, but you can still taste each individual grain. You can feel it in your mouth. It sounds like a simple dish, but they've done both things really well. They've cooked the rice really well and they've made the braised pork really well as well. If you're hungry and you want something really quick, get yourself a bowl of Taiwanese braised pork rice and a cold dish as well, because why not? I'm gonna have so much leftovers for the next couple of days because we're not done with this video just yet. There are still other places that I wanna feature. The weather's not looking great, but that's not going to deter us. Let me take you to our next destination for this video. Okay, next we are heading to get some boat noodles. Now previously these boat noodles were I think $5 um, but I went to check earlier and they were $6.90 and now that we've expanded the scope of this video I'm going back and we are getting some boat noodles. I'm super excited. I've been there before. I think it tastes pretty good. So yeah, I'm excited to, excited to show you all about it. All right, the next item on our list is a place that does boat noodles for $6.90. They have both soup and dry noodles. I got the soup one because I just felt like soup. So in here you get the choice of either beef, chicken or pork, and I chose pork. And you have bean sprouts, you have meatballs, you have slices of meat, you have some veggies, and it's in a herbal broth. Okay, let me try the broth first. It's a savory broth, but it's quite peppery as well. What I'm having right now would be great for winter because it's quite herbal and it kind of like warms my stomach up. Um, in terms of summer, you know, you can go for like the dry noodles or, you know, if this is what you want as well, then definitely go for it. The noodles are quite chewy and al dente. Let me try the meatballs. They gave me three meatballs. These pork balls, they might not be as big as the, like the beef balls that I usually have for da bin lo. But they taste good enough. The slices of meat isn't overly tough, and in terms of the taste of these meat slices and the pork balls, it kind of takes on the flavor of the herbal broth. This brings me back memories of when I was in Bangkok and I had boat noodles in a shop that also cuts people hair. It was a surreal experience, but the boat noodles there were delicious. Next up, we are heading to Xi'an Cuisine to get ourselves a Chinese hamburger. Okay, we've just arrived at Xi'an Cuisine and what I've ordered is a rojiang bowl, which is like a Chinese pita bread hamburger. It's like, a, it's like a thin flat bread and then inside we have a bunch of delicious pork. I've also added some capsicum and coriander in it as well. It comes to $5.50. I've actually had this in a previous video of mine when I did a Xi'an episode. I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm so glad to be featuring this item again in today's video. Also available on the menu is their liang pi, which is like a cold skin noodle. It's a tangy, savory cold dish that is absolutely amazing. So definitely give that a go. But for today, we're just gonna be having the pork pita bread. There's the pita bread, there's the pork on the inside, and then there is coriander, and capsicum. The bun still holds the meat quite well. The meat is marinated so well and then in combination with the crunch of the capsicum and the freshness of the coriander, this is really tasty. It might get a little bit messy so it helps to have a plate while you're eating it but maybe it's just me. Maybe I just don't know how to eat cleanly. All right, we are ending the video off with something sweet. I'm sure some of you may already be able to guess what exactly I'm about to have. It is Emperor's Puffs. Now these puffs come at 45 cents for one. I got seven for $3. You have to be careful when you eat them because they're super, super hot. Once you bite into them, it's just filled with cream custard. It's delicious. There's always a line outside of people waiting to buy them. It's a one-biter, unless it's really, really hot. 
There's so much more of Chinatown I want to feature. One video will never be able to do it justice. You know, Chinatown has been there for me during late nights. It's been there for me as a broke uni student. So next time you want a snack or a quick bite or something cheap and cheerful, you know, go check out some of the places that I featured in this video today. And that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. If you have any other Chinatown videos you want to see, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! All right, we are ending this video with something sweet. I'm sure some of you may already know exactly what I'm going to be all right, we are ending this video off with something sweet. I'm so. All right, we are ending this video off with something sweet. I'm sure some of you would already. Ah.